5 Dark Secrets the Vatican Doesn't Want You to Know 1. The late chief exorcist of the Vatican performed 160,000 exorcisms throughout his ministry. The late chief exorcist of the Vatican Father Gabriel Amorth states that he has performed tens of thousands of exorcism over his 60 plus years as a priest. Additionally, popes have also performed exorcisms. Father Amorth states that in 2009 Benedict XIV slammed Satan out of two guys and in 2000 Pope John Paul II attempted to exorcise a woman but failed to do so. Father Amorth later witnessed the possessed woman crawling up the walls like a spider. 2. The Vatican put a dead pope on trial. Another one of the dark secrets of the Vatican is that the Catholic Church put a dead man on trial. The posthumous trial of Pope Formiosos, an event known as Cadaver Synod took place in 897 AD. Pope Stephen VI conducted the trial against a man who was already dead for seven months. Pope Formiosos was charged guilty of illegal papacy. Subsequently, his body was exhumed, dressed in the Pope attire and brought to the papal court for judgment. Pope Formiosos was found guilty and his papacy declared null and void. 3. The Secret Conscience Court of the Vatican The Vatican has a secret court for sins based on conscience. The bishops who handle such hearings are the Apostolic Penitentiary, also known as the Tribunal of Conscience. Created by Pope Alexander in 1179, it was a secret to the public until 2009. The sins judged in this court vary from spitting out or the desecrate of a communion wafer to priests breaking their vows of celibacy. Sinners who seek absolution have to write a petition to the Holy See. They have to use pseudonyms to protect identities and submit the petition to the tribunal. The tribunal considers the matter but the decision-making lies with the major penitentiary, if he is uncertain then he submits the matter to the Pope. Additionally, up until the 18th century, heinous crimes such as rape and murder were judged by the tribunal. 4. The Vatican helped the Nazis flee Europe. The Vatican and Nazis have quite a connection. After World War II, Europe was a hostile place for the Nazis and many fled to numerous South American countries. The Nazis fled from Europe using routes known as ratlines. The Vatican knowingly gave them a helping hand. A researcher at Harvard Gerald Steinecker states that the Vatican's aid was based on the factor of the revival of European Christianity and fear of the Soviet Union. Additionally, the Vatican was behind creating false identities for numerous Nazis. The Vatican declines to comment on this. 5. The Mysterious Vatican Secret Archives There is a lot of mystery and speculation surrounding the Vatican Apostolic Archives until recently called the Vatican Secret Archives. The fifth dark secret that the Vatican doesn't want you to know already has the word secret in it. The archives contain all the documents the Church collected throughout the centuries. Contrary to popular belief, the word secret in the former title denotes private and not confidential. Most of the archives are accessible to the public. Although some documents truly remain confidential. I guess some things are meant to be kept secrets.